Local politicians, business leaders and student groups gathered in North Vancouver Tuesday morning to throw their support behind a campaign to increase funding for TransLink. The Metro Vancouver Transit Authority is looking at a $600 million structural deficit. TransLink says that means serious cuts to public transit, a major concern for those living on the North Shore. We're facing drastic cuts to transit service that will devastate the entire region if the provincial government doesn't identify new funding sources for TransLink. A mayor's council survey showed that on the North Shore, nearly four in five peg transit as a key election issue and a majority of them are concerned about how potential transit cuts will affect their community. The BC NDP has promised to put up the money to extend the R2 bus between Metro Town and Park Royal. With half a billion dollars in spending to build a rapid transit bus line along that route within two years of the election. We're talking about dedicated lanes, train station, train type stations as opposed to buses, platform level boarding, so very accessible. We're talking more comfort at the stations as well. She also said they will investigate a possible SkyTrain expansion to the North Shore. The mayor of North Vancouver and the district mayor say they're pleased to see the NDP promise to follow the mayor's council transit expansion plans, but that doesn't solve TransLink's budget problem. It's not going to get us out of the structural deficit that TransLink faces. So we need to uh, solve that problem. So we want to know from each party what they're bringing to the table. And post-election, we need to sit down immediately to address that, that deficit. They say there needs to be a sustainable long-term plan for transit to and from the North Shore. In North Vancouver, Jack Morse, City News.